Hi guys, today I'll be reviewing the 170 scale as the cap set 184 elephant from Jim Peter. Unfortunately, the guys on the store paste a stamp on the front of the of the box blocking the box art as you can may see. And that is not very good for me because I like this box art. Now you want to do the model here. Now, looking at close up to the model box, the box model, the sides that we got here, one of the sides, then we complete box art. Focus, damn it! There it is, focus. Continuing parts of the No, no opening. Oh, forget it. Now, the instruction is going with the amazing black and white box art and instructions. Always so. First part, the uh, parts map. Too many parts. Twice bought of them. Sorry about the interruption. And we got the road wheel assembly. Lower hull, lower hull, uh, track installation. We can build either link by link or rubber tracks. What's better for you? Uh, yeah, lower parts. Hull assembly number one, hull assembly number two, hull assembly number three. Holland assembly number four. And guess what? Holland assembly number five. Holland assembly number zero. Because it's the main gun. Here we got the how to build the gun. Here we got how to install the gun. Holland assembly one. Get a turret assembly number one. Turret assembly number two. And turret assembly number three with all detail and everything in Commander Cupola. And antenna for finally attaching the turret to the hull. Well, not actually turret, but that's what it is. It says here. And antenna. Yo, looks amazing. Now, here we got the paint and marking guides. They're green, wood, brown, and sandy brown. We got the elephant. Yeah. Now, this is an uh, elephant from the 653 uh, Heavy Panzerjäger Abteilung, I believe. And I think because of high model, because of this insignia there, Schwede Panzerjäger Abteilung 653, Battalion number 2. Focus, damn it. There it is. Very nice. Now, in general, there we got the tank. Here we got the tank with this nice camel. Looks amazing again. Look at those tracks. Horrible. Let me repair it. Shit. 
got out. Well, I got to repair it later on, after the video. Or maybe right now. Now, continuing with the tank review. Here we got the elephant with the 8.8 L71 gun. Now, the gun depression, like that, just like that. Gun rising, like that. No traversal. Yeah. Here we got Ferdinand. Fair track. Pernings. Elephant, not Ferdinand. Well, this there's also available the Ferdinand from Future. It's exactly the same, just without the cupo commander's cupola. And some differences on the hull. Missing detail on the Ferdinand, not on this. Yeah, it's a very really nice tank from True Picture, very detailed, very accurate also. I really recommend it. Yo. Now, speaking for the track uh, suspension, it's not very reliable because it. Uh, yeah it, yeah, it moves a bit. This uh, Porsche suspension, it's not really nice. Really nice made. Look at that. Yeah, not amazing. But it, it's a very accurate tank, very straightforward tank to build. I really liked it very much. Although the camouflage didn't was really the one on the box art because I, I wanted to do that one. Yo, and if, if you did notice the box art one has simmered, but this don't have, doesn't have simmered. The one doesn't have simmered. So that's disappointing. It's a minus. But yeah, that's a great model. Really recommend it. Enjoy it. Yeah. The Ferdinand actually entered battle in the Battle of Karst. That's very good. Well then, guys, this was the all for today. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.